I'm Sheriff Matt Clifford with the Ada County Sheriff's Office. Welcome to the jail. All right, so this is the Sally Ford area where we bring people uh, by vehicle in to the jail and then secure the doors so that uh, we have a secure space to take them out of the vehicles. This Sally Ford is shared by all of the incoming agencies as well as our transport unit. We don't have enough room to put all those cars and buses in here, so we bring them outside the, the safety of the jail and put them in the cars there. In the area where we're going to go right now we call it intake. This is where they'll pat them down and then remove the handcuffs. So now we're going to move into our booking area. This has been the same since the 90s and we've done what we can with it as far as rearranging furniture and whatnot, but we don't have the ability to add any space. So this is the inmate property room. So if you're booked into the jail, uh, we have uh, property techs that will take all of your property, package it up, and it gets stored in this room until you're released. Uh, this, again, I started here 23 years ago. This room is the same size as it was in the 90s. And it is packed full of property. It's people's personal property, so we have to take care of it and account for every piece of it. So here's the kitchen. We feed 4,000 meals a day. It's designed to feed about a thousand meals a day, but we're doing with it what we can. We're now in the laundry. Uh, inmates also run the laundry area. So over 2,500 loads of laundry a month. So we don't send that out to contract. We have inmates do it here, it saves a lot of money. So there are two different terms as far as capacity. You have rated capacity and you have operational capacity. So rated capacity, that's basically they count up all the toilets and all the sinks and say, you can have this many inmates stay in your jail. If you get to rated capacity, it's already a bad, bad day. What we have to look at is operational capacity, which is going to be underneath your rated capacity. It's also called operational capacity because we have to keep beds in the jail open so we can move people if needed. So the rated capacity capacity for our jail is 1,116 beds. The operational capacity is 949 beds. Right now, overall, we're functioning at over 970. Now, we're actually thankful for that because most days this year, we've been up over 1,000 people. As soon as you bump over that operational capacity, efficiencies, safety and security, all of those types of things, they start to diminish. So this is our health services unit. So it's basically like a small hospital. The only thing we don't do here are surgeries and things like that. But we have 24 hour nursing staff that uh, distribute meds and uh, monitor people's health. But we do have the ability to take people outside the facility if they need specialty care. So this is the warehouse space for a thousand people, 4,000 meals a day. Think about toilet paper and soap for a thousand people. It's a mess, we don't have the room. We have to find other little nooks and crannies in the jail to just stick items. We need the people that police are finding to felonies to be here. Problem is, is we're running out of space and infrastructure to keep them here. Thank you for taking the tour of the jail with us today.